there really aren't a lot of proven options for treating ADHD. It seems like parents, when they talk to me, they're kind of stuck between doing nothing or just going the medication route. What I'm so excited to dig into with you today is that now I have a Harvard-based research study showing exactly a great viable option that you can do instead of medication or in conjunction with your medication treatments, specifically for ADHD. Of course, I've talked many times about other options for ADHD, specifically metronome work, interactive metronome work, improving mental timing, and improving focus and attention. You can watch that video right here that dives deep into mental timing. So the research study, here we go. This research study took place with about um, 40 kids between the ages of eight and 14. This study was over 15 weeks and the kids from this particular study participated in brain balance exercises which from what I know involves both sides of your bodies trying to really engage both sides of the brain and interactive metronome exercises, which from what I know is a proven computer-based program that works specifically with that mental timing. And it has been proven to increase executive functioning skills, attention, coordination, motor planning, and a ton of other benefits and functional skills for our kids and actually works for adults too. Some of the kids in this study had ADHD officially diagnosed and there was a couple who didn't. The important parts that I wanna get into is what the end of the study, when they went ahead and said, okay, what improvements have we made? Did this make a difference? Well, I'm gonna to skip to the end and tell you it absolutely did. Here's what they saw. They saw an improvement in the responses from the parents for the parent rating scale. Um, questionnaire asking to describe your child and at the end you get a rating if your child has very high likely to have ADHD or very low likelihood something in between after the sessions um, the kids showed less characteristics of ADHD second thing I'm going to share with you is this is kind of the gold standard when it comes to ADHD testing it is a computer-based test it's called the quotient a lot of times neurologists do it Sometimes uh, the people, the person doing the testing also has it. Needless to say, what it does is it checks how distracted the child is, the student is, and you come up with a score. So the kids already had this done before. They had their diagnosis of ADHD. They participated in 15 weeks of interactive metronome-based exercises. And at the end of the 15 weeks, the kids took the quotient test again and their results were so low that it wasn't even able to characterize them as somebody with a diagnosis of ADHD. So they had ADHD based on this gold standard testing. And at the end of the 15 weeks, the testing showed such little numbers, such little movement that it wasn't really able to qualify them as somebody with ADHD, which means that their hyperactivity has decreased which means their ability to have sustained attention has increased because that's exactly what that test measures the results on that quotient test actually mirrored looked just like kids that were on medication okay these kids had a diagnosis didn't have medication they did this treatment instead at the end of the treatment study they redid the test we had all the benefits i just talked about but in addition to the those benefits their test results, which is a drawing that you can see right here, looked exactly like kids who have an ADHD diagnosis and are on medication for ADHD. That's amazing. In addition to this, they also took some brain imaging and the brain imaging showed changes to the brain that were no longer statistically significant enough to say that they had ADHD another win. In addition to that, they have performance-based tests which showed improvements in attention, executive functioning, and motor skills. I have a whole list, a long list, of can-do behaviors 
a questionnaire and another research study similar to this one but talks more about mental timing right in the link below go ahead and grab that if any of this is resonating with you because it's going to give you a great frame of reference for you to say hey is this something that will be helpful for my family for my child go ahead and grab that link below listen i don't want you to think i am an anti-medication because I'm actually not. I'm a huge believer in medication and it's something that should be decided between the family, the doctor, and whatever professionals or teachers can contribute to the information, but that's definitely a doctor family decision. But I do know that medication alone is not enough in most cases. The best combination are pulling resources from the community like Interactive Metronome, so like executive functioning training, in addition to the medication that you and your physician decide on, because if there's one thing that I do know for sure is pills don't teach skills. The pills will reduce the symptoms, um, but they're not going to make up for years of bad planning, years of poor executive functioning skills. So now we have proof that strategies like interactive metronome and brain balance exercises are real viable options for families that don't want to go the medication route or that want that are doing the medication route but want additional resources to really make sure their child has the best resources. Mental timing and interactive metronome has proven to decrease ADHD symptoms. That video is right here. So go ahead, watch that video over there, then grab the checklist that I have right here with that long can-do list of improvements that I've seen clinically. And there's gonna be a questionnaire in there for you that'll help you discern, is interactive metronome the route I should take for my child and my family? It's Nicole Santa Maria from OT from Real Life. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and I will see you in the next video.